This is probably what most of you envision when you think of robots, a computer built to look a little like a human. But that's not what UofL Robotics team leader Dan Popa is currently working on. That is the smallest uh, robotic arm in the world. He's talking about that tiny arm on the right side of the plate, which you can see a little bit better under a microscope. Just one of the micro robots Popa and his UofL team are building with help from federal grants. How small are they? Half a millimeter. Or Half small. a millimeter. Yeah. That's really tiny. That's small, yeah. A quarter millimeter, so hundreds of microns. The vision is in the near future, uh, we will be using so-called wafer scale micro factories. These are uh, factories the size of a silicon wafer. On this wafer, there will be a ton of micro robots similar to a factory. Instead of producing cars, they'll be producing some nanotechnology product. Each of these chips holds several micro robots. Popa sees several uses for them, especially in healthcare. And minimally invasive surgery for brain surgery or uh, sinus surgery or eye surgery, there, is no, um, there are no tools available. Uh, and so micro robots can actually revolutionize uh, surgery in, in delicate places. Other applications for this technology would be in the future, things that you can ingest or inject in your blood vessels that will go in and um, you know, fight your cholesterol and clean your arteries and so on. That's another application. Those are, uh, you know, different types of robots. There's still years of research to be done on how to power these tiny robots. Popa's team is working on that, as well as a related project, building a 12 foot by 12 foot open source factory for micro robots and miniature technology, like flexible cell phones and sensors. At the Ford uh, plant here in town, there are uh, approximately a thousand robots on the assembly line to make the car. So in a micro factory, again, we will have thousands of these robots uh, working in, in uh, concert at, in, in, to, to create a nanoscale product. And while perfecting them may be a decade away, Popa says micro robots and micro factories will be part of our daily lives. At uh, smaller scales, you may have a factory on your desk.